Hi, William, it's George here. I've just had a quick look at your file, and what I'm going to recommend you do is open up Audacity, if you haven't got it already, uh, download it, and then import the audio file. And if we take your file itself and bring it into Audacity, you'll find that um, you've got two tracks. This tra top track here basically has nothing on it except for the beep that you included. There is no audio on there at all. So you need to separate this top track from this bottom one and to do that you click on this area here and simply split stereo track. That then makes these two tracks two stereo tracks and all you need to do is then delete the top one. If you now play this what you have is one soundtrack that's playing out of the right speaker so to get that corrected we need to set the pan just here to center just there and then play We're now recording. Single, solid, bar. now you have a little bit of quiet sound here so I'm selecting that part here where you've got the main hiss you then go to effects and go to noise reduction and just simply get the noise profile and at this stage on the PC I think if you go control and A I'm using an Apple so it's slightly different you need to select the whole of the track that you're going to use the noise reduction for we go back to noise reduction and this time we get to play around with these areas so just be careful with these controls to make sure that you're not getting slightly distorted sound so do keep previewing and just check what you're getting before you actually go OK. And you'll see that that line has been reduced just there. And if we go and play anywhere in there. Single, solid, bar. Let's go for some silence. There doesn't seem to be that much hiss there now, so that should be OK. And then all you need to do then is save as. Let's actually save project. I want to export, sorry as a WAV file and what I would tend to do is keep the file that you had there in case you have a problem. Um, I'm going to call this C at the end because I've already done it once. Um, that means that you've kept your original file just in case there's any problems you can always go back to the original file. And then I just clicked OK. And now you should be ready to import that file into Lightworks. I hope this helps. Let me know and uh, we'll see what we can do. Bye for now.